this, because this is a local event, I'm going to start this whole thing with a talk which is really about my perspective of this local area and what it means to me. Now, I wasn't born here, but I would say that I was made here. Uh, my parents grew up in different parts of the world. I've lived in the north of England, I've lived in the south of England, I've lived in various places in London like we all have, uh, different countries, and my heart's been all over the place, quite frankly. But um, one of the things I would say is that this is the place that I call home. And so this is my story. It's the story about how we connect to environments and what they cause us to feel and the movements that they create within us. And it's how we express what those environments make us feel and how they make it, us feel it. And that is what I would call is the sinewy relationship that we have with our environments. Because from the moment we're born, from before even that, we're born to connect. And the nutrients that we get from our mothers as we're growing up become the wired world nutrients that we get as digitally connected citizens today. Um, and it is this level of connectivity on the web that plays a huge part in forming who we are, this kind of relationship and the way that we relate to the environments around us, whatever they're like. Increasingly, we're talking about the connection economy, where it's the strength of connection that can create the means for our growth at that huge national level as well as at a very personal level. So I showed this image in TEDx in Washington, D.C. about three years ago when I did a, a talk about a very big abstract subject called reinventing organizations. And now I'm moving from Washington and the Washington Memorial is being replaced by the Boatwater Chimney, which is outside my flat, which I see every day. This isn't to talk about big abstract things for me. This is very personal. It's from the heart. And right now, this area, this place that we're in now, this, this is a, the locus of our attention. We're connecting to this environment in a new way. So basically, this, this is the story. I, I moved to Bow in 1995, and I identify very strongly with the Match Girls um, and who created the first Match Girl strike, which was the beginning of the suffragette movement. This place has got a, a character to it and a sense of spirit and purpose, which means a lot to me. And um, this, this is this sort of sense now of how we create a, a relationship with the environment that we're in. The I am in you meme, have you, have you heard of this at all? It's, it's going all over the world. Basically, it, it talks about how we can have this level of connection and say, Bo, I am in you. We're connected at that very visceral level. So it travels all over the place, in Seattle, in New York, in London, but it's a very local relationship. Sometimes it's a better relationship than others. Um, and it even transcends as far as interplanetary relationships. When the, when the Curiosity rover landed on Mars, they said the same thing. So this I am in you sense of how we connect with our environment and how they shape our environment is something which I think is, is really interesting about the way that we're developing today. And it's more than just about location. It's about the spirit of a place and it's about how it makes us feel and what happens when we connect to it. And this sense of connection works at a corporate level too. It's not just our personal relationship with it. It's about the values that we share, that we can all create and we can all discover together in a joint place. And it's that level of experience, it's that map that is part of the journey of life that we live and how that makes us feel that plays a huge part in how we develop as human beings and our identity and our spirit and our soul and our character. So what would happen, I wonder, if we could turn ourselves upside down like little figurines and we could look at the bottom of our feet and we could see where we were made? What would it say about us? What would be the things that we identify with? What are the things that we would take away and go, yes, that place made me. This is the place that I rely on. This is where I feel that I belong. Because one of the things about the web today is that the way that we connect to places and the way that we organize ourselves they can be manufactured or they can be actualized. That is to say, it can be the way that we actually come together and we create a sense of purpose and shared community and, and collective identity because we are becoming more of who we are 
by the places that we live. And you don't have to be in a particular place to have a sense of connection and identity to it. We can come from wherever we are from in order to feel that we're made in it. So the notion of liberty and feeling free depends on the people that we're with wherever we are. It doesn't have to be in a fixed location. So increasingly I feel like I'm somebody that could be coming from no fixed nationality <coughs> because I can be made by any circumstance. I can be part of what the web is doing to me, which is shaping me as I live in real time. Increasingly, I think, we're all being made in the moment. And it is that moment, that level of connection and how we start to create a relationship with the things that we're existing around and with that starts to change the relationship that we have with ourselves. And it's those people, the people that are part of that, which are so crucial to us becoming more of what we can be. It's the friend who reaches out and supports us when we're not sure we've got the confidence to do the things that we want to do. It's the boss or the mentor who says, yes, I believe in you, at times when we don't necessarily believe in ourselves. It's the random act of kindness that can help us when the load that we're carrying is too heavy. It's the lover who reaches out and tells us that we matter tenderly when we're not quite sure where we do belong and that makes us feel loved. These are all different types of relationships that make us more of what we are. And we are a community, essentially. We are able to commune with one another, to start to get that shared sense of space and belonging. There was a study that was done just last week, which said that people over 50 who feel connected to their environment are much, much more likely to say that they're happy. 80% of them say that they're happy when they're connected to their environment compared to people that don't feel that they belong in their community. Uh, that's only 53%, so it's 30% less as a result of feeling part of the, the, the community and having a relationship with it or not. And this, to me, is a sense of a healing mesh that all our communities are capable of creating. It's people coming out to connect with one another, to make relationships with one another, like we're doing here, coming together for a shared sense of purpose and meaning. That healing mesh has got fantastic opportunities as communities spring up in all sorts of different ways on the web, in real life places, and a combination between the two, how we find one another, how we seek one another out, how we support one another when we need, when we need that support. That healing mesh is part of then the, the synapses. When we feel that we are connected with other people, we get that recognition, we get a feedback loop, and it makes us feel good. So there's this sense of a, a very strong, emergent connection that we get in connection with one another in, as part of a community. And I don't know if any of you have seen this, but there was a, a study done, the counterclockwise study was done in the 1970s by a woman called Ellen Langer, and it was recreated in a programme in 2010 called The Young Ones, where a group of celebrities lived in places which were like the places that they grew up and they had a bond. And it's that sense of connection with the environment that we're in. It can actually make us feel younger. It can make us feel more alive. It can reconnect us with our sense of inner vitality. So this is the sort of thing, this is the sort of experience and the connection, I think, that has created things like the Games Makers. The Games Makers who supported everybody at the Olympics, they were the people that allowed them, the athletes, to do what they did, the inspiring stuff that made us feel excited and happy for two wonderful weeks of rapture. We were in awe of them doing their thing and we were supporting them and they were making it great for us. That's the kind of experience that people never forget, that they never take away. And it was an experience that I was extremely lucky to be part of. And I got a ticket just like the Monday before through a really random act of, I don't know what, uh, where I ended up in the opening ceremony. I will never forget this moment for the rest of my life. <laughs>
I mean, that was an amazing moment. That changed, I think, a lot of people's experience of the Olympics was made in that moment. But the question is this, what kind of communities do we want for ourselves in real life or on the web? Because we can basically imagine anything that we want to. We can make it anything that we want to. Because we all carry, I think, a metaphor in our heads around what life is like. It can be a playground, it can be a battleground, it can be a school, it can be a church, it can be a hospital. That metaphor that we carry around in our head is what determines what we then expect from the environment around us. And we can make that anything that we want. We made that experience together. And as Tim Berners-Lee says, this is for everybody. It's for us to decide the kind of communities we want to coexist and co-create in together. The thing that's really amazing about the relationship we have with our environments is that it's an act of mattering. It's about being and connecting to something which has a purpose to us so that we actually make it into matter. That, that relationship between who we are and how we relate to the world around us can completely change our lives depending on how we want to view it. And this is the thing that ultimately I think is the thing when we feel that we connect with an environment, when we have experiences which change us, when we have places that we can tell stories about, when we have somewhere that we think about, when we think about the fact that there's no place like home, then truly we belong. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs>